Welcome back. It is spring break for kids across the state and the official start of the spring season is Sunday or as some might like to call it primetime fishing season. That's what I like to call it anyway. Colin Berg with the Oklahoma Department of Wildlife Conservation joins us this morning to talk about the many options we have in the outdoors right now. So Colin, thank you for being here. I appreciate the invite. It's, it's good, enjoyable. good to see you. So we're going to start with bass fishing. Bass fishing this time of year is the time of year that folks want to try to get out and catch big bass, especially. Like we're talking like. Like state record size fish. And you know, southeast Oklahoma or the southern part of the state is where most folks go. This fish is a smallmouth bass state record that was caught down at Latonka Lake in southwest Oklahoma. The current state record largemouth was caught down at Cedar Lake down in southeast Oklahoma, a small body of water, but has produced a couple state records. And the reason is we stock southern uh, Florida strain largemouth bass down in that area uh, because they can survive in our, our lakes down there. So they're producing a little bit larger fish than what maybe you might catch up here in the northern part. You know, there's a big tournament coming up at Grand and I expect them to catch some big fish this time of year uh -huh. for that tournament. So this is the time of year, March, February, March is always, if you're wanting to catch a big bass, whether it's out of a farm pond or out of a lake, this is the time of year when you might do that. It's because they're spawning. It's because it's pre-spawn, yep, right before they spawn is when you're gonna catch, catch them at the biggest point. Well, I know, I've fished with a couple of the pros who are gonna be at the MLF and they are pumped about being at Grand <laughs> at the end of March, yep. that's for sure. In fact, eight of the top 20 were caught March 18th through 30th. Yep, exactly. So it's this time of year to be out there and it's beautiful weather that we're having. Well, so. that's, a, I was gonna say, like cabin fever to the max. We've had weird weather here in the last yep. uh, several weeks. So we're ready to get outside uh, and, and do some fishing for sure. Sand bass, white bass, that's our state fish. They are a blast to catch. So we'll talk a little bit about that. Are they making their spawning run yet? The, down and I was looking at the, uh, temperatures of the lakes in southern Oklahoma and usually that's where people will start if you want to fish the entire state you actually can start in southeast usually towards the end of this month is when the water is going to get around 54 55 degrees and a little bit of this moisture coming in will help increase the water temperatures as well since it's going to be fairly warm it is a blast you can catch a bunch of them mm -hmm. and in a short period of time it's great to take kids out you can wade streams, rivers going into the major reservoirs. A lot of folks catch them off of the dams as well on those reservoirs. And it's just one after another, which is what makes it so fun. Now the work comes when you, if you decide to keep a bunch of them. <laughs> then you gotta clean you a gotta bunch clean of them. You gotta clean them. I always say there's, it's fun catching, it's work to clean them, <laughs> it's fun eating them. Yeah. So you kind of get a couple enjoyment factors out of it, but that's always something I encourage folks that are thinking about introducing somebody new mm -hmm. to the sport of fishing. Early spring, nice weather, pick a day that's nice, hit one of those creeks or streams. We've got a fishing resource page. Uh -huh. uh, you go to our website, wildlifedepartment.com, and actually on the home page right now, there's information about the white bass spawn with information about all of our regions and all of our lakes provided by our biologists on where to go good tips so go check that out well and they fight like crazy they do. so they are fun fun to reel in if you can get them all right now to one of my very favorite things to do in the springtime that is stag snagging spoonbill or paddlefish Oklahoma holds the world record for largest paddlefish in the world exactly we're actually I think the top number one state in the world for paddlefish bar none mm -hmm. people come from all over particularly over the last 10 12 years since we've been doing our paddlefish program to snag paddlefish here in Oklahoma it's what we call a prehistoric fish they really haven't changed over time uh, believe it or not they're plankton eaters they're not they don't eat other fish they eat plankton so they're filter feeders but they get to tremendous sizes this time of year, especially if we get some of these heavy rains in this eastern part of the state and the rivers start flowing and these smaller creeks that they run up, um, those fish will start their spawning run and they just get stacked in there so full that you can just snag them with a regular hook. You know, it's got to be a treble hook. Usually if people use barbless, mm -hmm. snap the barbs, cut them down. You got to have a permit. A lot of regulations on paddlefish. You can only keep one per day. You got to attach information when you do. You got to 24 hours to check it in. But one of the neat things about if you're up by Miami, uh, we got our paddlefish research center where they can actually drop the fish off and we clean it for mm -hmm. them. And then the eggs, we turn it into caviar. 
and use the money that's generated through that program to continue research on paddlefish as well as develop better access for anglers. So well, it's neat a, fish. They're a lot of fun to catch too. So you you can go up around the Grand Lake area up toward Miami, Arkansas River too. Arkansas some, River. Some on the Cimarron. I yeah. mean, there there are a lot of places to, to hit up for spoonbill snagging. All right. Um, also have some fishing clinics coming up in youth camps. We're about out of time, but uh, the, the fishing clinics, you're going to be working on that and getting some information out to, yep. to folks soon. Watch our calendar on our website, and they'll be coming out soon. All right, Colin, thanks so much. We appreciate you, you being here. Now let's go fishing. <laughs> <There> you go. <laughs>